Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This morning, this morning, this morning, you are going to want to have a pen and some paper this morning. You're going to want to have a pen and some paper this morning. You're going to want to have a list. If you saw the text, I don't know, but if you got your list, great. Thank you, Lord. But today is a day that we are praising God. We are walking out in obedience today. There's some things that God wants uh, us to do. It's very unorthodox, but that's how God has won most of his battles. That's how the saints have won most of their battles. Through praise, somebody's praise at an ambush one time. Somebody prays with loud pots, Gideon. It, it, it thwarted the enemy so much, he thought that it appeared that they had more than what they had. Somebody is fighting from a place of scarcity and the Lord said, all you got is all you need. I'm going to give you strategy today and your praise is going to unlock it on today. Our praise is going to do so much for us on today. God says, expect the great. He has already started. Y'all, I got started early this morning. I could barely even sleep last night because I was so excited in anticipation for how we're going to meet God today. When God wants us to praise, this morning while I was brushing my teeth, he said, I'm a God of strategy. It's a reason why I told them to worship yesterday. It's a reason why I told them to lean into worship. And I'm, I, I, I know we started at 637, but my God, my God, it's a reason why the Lord said worship yesterday. Scripture says, resist the devil and he will flee. But some people forget the first part where it says, submit your way unto the Lord. Then you resist the devil and he will flee. God says your worship puts you in a position of power. It puts you in a position of submission. And because they submitted to me, my God, because you submitted to me in your worship, because you have been in submission, you've done the things that I've asked you to do. Anybody been walking in obedience? Just go ahead and put me in the chat. Anybody been walking in obedience this year? Your obedience has opened so many opportunities for you. God says your obedience Your obedience unlocked this day of praise. I'm going to start at 6.37, but I need y'all to make sure y'all got y'all. Sheesh. Somebody go ahead and drop in the chat in our group chat that we are live because I don't want nobody to miss what's going to happen today. Anybody just feel the presence of the Lord? Like, honestly, you just feel something bubbling up. You don't know why you had to get on today, but you just know that you know that you know that you know that you needed to be here. Ooh, thank you, Lord. It's 637. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to share these scriptures. And then what God wants us to do today is we're going to praise him for the past. We're going to praise him for the present. We're going to praise him for the future. We're absolutely going to praise him for the things that you have put on the list. But we're going to start praising God from a place of look where you brought me from, God. Then we're going to praise him for a place of look at where I am now with gratitude. And then we're going to praise him for from a place of look what you've completed already. Look what I've done for you, daughter. If I made you write it down. Some of y'all had a list prepared already, but maybe you have something else. God says, today, I'm going to put you in a position to write something else. God is going to give us things and whatever comes to your mind when he tells us to write, just write. 
Just write the vision because what God is going to do today is he's going to show you your true desires. He's putting some things in our heart today. And if it seemed too big, if it seemed too much, if it seems kind of strange, if it seemed like that ain't something I would do, that ain't something I would want. It's still something that God wants you to have. And we are going to literally write it down. We're activating laws today. Fives, if you feel me. Let me go ahead and get to the scripture and the word that God has given. Oh, Jesus. Today's theme is praise in advance. It's praise in advance. I'm not even going to lie. Like most of the times when I get on the call, I'm like, Lord, whatever you say that morning is whatever you say. I'm going to say whatever you tell me to say. I don't really prepare for the cause. I just get on and whatever word God gives me that morning, that's what I share with you. But last night I was washing dishes. I rarely wash dishes. <laughs> that's why I got five kids. I was washing dishes. And the Lord said, expect the great. He said, expect the great. He said, tell my daughters to write a list because I want, I want to give them the things that are on their list, but tell them to praise me for it. I was like, what? Okay, Lord. He said, I want you to go ahead and do that. And as I was sending the text, the Lord started dealing with me with preparation. He started to say, what I'm doing now in this season is what I've always been doing. What I'm doing now in you, getting you prepared before time, before a move, before you get on. He said, that's what I've been doing all along. I've been preparing the way for them. While you guys been getting on every morning, I've been preparing something just before you get there. I've been preparing something just before you open your mouth. I've been preparing something just before you ask. God has already been preparing things and now your praise is going to finish it. Your praise is going to complete it. Don't take your praise lightly this morning. Don't take your praise like, you know, like this is just something that we do at church. It's just something that we do because we say this is just something. No. No. Yesterday, God said he was gearing something up for an immediate response. It's the day before. It's not like I've been gearing you up for a long time. God has said, you did something that I heard and I had to come down. This praise is going to cause heaven to come down. So last night, this is what I got. And this is the, this is, this is the word. The Lord says, tell them I'm in your home. What you've been doing the last 16 days is a private thing but I'm going to make this private thing a public show of my affection towards you. A public show of my, my affection towards you. And he started to give me the scriptures surrounding um, uh, David and Obadiah. I think I'm saying it right. He started giving me that example. He said, you remember how David danced for me when the praise or the Ark of the Covenant came back into his possession? You remember how he danced crazy and outward towards me, showing his love, showing his affection, showing his appreciation. God says, I'm going to do something to you and in your life where people are going to look on it and they're going to be like, oh, God really loves Tiasia. Oh, God really loves Colleen. Oh, God really loves Darisa. Oh, God really loves Nicole. Oh, God really loves Kate because the things that your praise is getting ready to unlock the way that God is going to move in your life, he going to move kind of like how David was dancing. Woo. I wish I could feel this thing, how I felt this thing. We, oh, shama. 
Like if you don't get a dance in your belly today, if you don't, I don't, don't manufacture it. Let it come from a real place. But understand this is why God wants us to praise because he wants to publicly show the world how much he loves you by blessing you, by giving to you. That's the kind of God we serve. He said, you can't diligently seek me and me not reward you. So I know all you really wanted was my presence. I know all you really wanted was wisdom. I know all you really wanted was my love. I know all you wanted to do was show me that you would show up. But now God is saying, I want to show out for you. And that's just the kind of God I am. Laura says, the covenant is not in Obadiah's house anymore. The covenant is in you. You might want to study that story, but the Ark of the Covenant David had dropped it. it, it David, that he got mad and he walked away from the from the uh, presence of the Lord, and he left it in the yard of the house of Obadiah. And Obadiah, who wasn't even, it wasn't even a chill, a child of Israel. He wasn't even. He he got it. And the presence stayed with him for three months. And the Bible talks about how so much favor fell on his house. And so David went back and got it. And that's why he began to dance because he understood that if the presence can do that to that house, what, how much more will it do for me being a child of God, being a chosen of God? And so God is saying that the ark, I'm in your home now. You, my daughter, I'm in your house. How much more will I do for you? How much more will you praise me for? Because I'm in your house. My God, the Lord said, the real praise is for the things that I've prepared in you. So, 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 so this is why he said that put, put a one in the chat. If you got a list, if you got a pen and you got a pad today. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So as you're looking at your list, as you're looking at your list, I need you to understand that the Lord said the real praise is about everything that's on that list. You need to understand that there's some things that I've prepared in you to be able to receive what's on that list. There's some things I've prepared in you that have prepared you to receive them. So as you look at your list, what was God saying? He said, I've given you, and yesterday he gave us five scriptures, four scriptures, but last night he gave us a fifth. And these are the scriptures. The first, Jeremiah 33, go ahead and write that down. Jeremiah 33. Jeremiah 33 says, call upon me and I will answer you. And I will show you things that you knew not. I know it by heart because I that's just one of the ones. But I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. Bible says, call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. God is going to unlock strategy. He's going to reveal instructions. He's going to reveal the way, the route, the stuff that you need to do in order to get what you have already on that list. God says on today, your praise is going to be like you beckoning him, you calling, and God is going to answer. He's going to respond. You got to be listening. You got to be, you got to be in anticipation. That's why God says, expect the great. I'm going to tell you great and unsearchable things. Ain't nobody else going to be able to confirm for you if this is really the Lord, unless it's but you. I ain't going to be able to make sense of the strategy that God gives you. 
Tiasia. I ain't going to be able to make sense of the word that God spoke to you because it's unsearchable. It's things that you don't even know, that I don't even know. God says, I'm giving it to you so that you can go forth in the things that I've placed inside of you and made you put it on that list. Do that make sense? Right now, you have your pen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord says, add to the list. Those of you that brought your pen and your pad, add to the list. We're going to take about 20 seconds to add to the list of things that you need strategy for. If it's already there, just search, just cry out, Lord, what else? He's stretching us today. He gonna stretch us today. I'm gonna take about 20 seconds to add to the list. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. The whole chapter of Jeremiah 33 and 3 is one you want to read. It's one you want to read. Because he's talking about how he will not only heal his people, but he will give them abundance. He will give them prosperity. It's talking about how everything that they ask for God is going to do, and he's going to move in a way. 14 says, the day will come, says the Lord, when I will do for Israel and Judah all the good things I have promised them. When I was reading this last night, the Lord said, I'm going to do all the things that I have promised you. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Thank you. Whew. Praise today. Praise today. Your day is coming. You ought to just declare it. The day will come. My day is coming. You are preparing the way for your day. My day is coming. The second verse. Psalms 23 and 5. Psalms 23 and 5. And these are all the reasons why God is saying everything on that list I've prepared you for and I've prepared in you. God says, I prepared you to put yourself in position to call out to me and I'm going to answer. Each one of these scriptures speak to why God has prepared us and what he. And what he's doing. And why praise is important right now. Thank you, Jesus. You prepared a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honored me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Right now, I just even pray that somebody's mind would even open up and release and God, that they would even begin to think bigger, to go beyond what's even on the list, God, that they, they that somebody right now is like, I don't even know what else to write, God. I, I, can you just expose them to the goodness of heaven? Can you just unlock, Lord God, their imaginations? The enemy has put restraints on them. Lord, they're afraid to believe you beyond barriers, God. Right now, will you just even put something in us, God, that we will just continue to write until the overflow comes. We will continue to ask until the overflow comes, until it's, we've been anointed for overflow.
God says this doesn't change your humility or you being humble. I'm asking you to go overboard. I'm asking you because I want to bless your overflow. That's the problem. You've been living in underflow. You've been living in no flow. You've been living in survival. And God is saying, I've called you and anointed you for overflow blessings. I gave you the heart that you have because you're the person that I know I can use and trust with the overflow. Everybody wants the overflow, but they can't be trusted with it. You one of the ones. That's why the Lord wants to lock your mind. He want, I mean, not the Lord, but the enemy wants to lock your mind and he wants to shut you down and he wants you to get you to think, I don't know what else to ask. I can't come up with 50 goals. I can't come up with 50 things. I can't come up with a hundred things. I can't, I, I just want my family. I just want, and God is like, be specific. I I want more for you, daughter. Take the limits off of me, God is saying. Woo. Somebody done limited him to five things. You done limited him to six, seven things. God is like, keep going. I prepared a feast, not a meal. Some of you are just happy to have a seat at the table. And just to get a plate, God has said, I prepared a feast for you. I didn't prepare a seat for you. If you got to stand up and eat, stand up and eat. It's yours. Ooh. Oh, God. I just seen a vision of us in a room where everybody is eating at the table and we looking off at the side. We on the side of the wall. We watching other people eat. But those people are illegally seated at a table that's for you. That's your table. That's your meal. And you're watching and you waiting. And God says, that's yours. I anointed you for it. So everything that you want to see and everything that you ever desire is on the table. But are you willing to write it? Are you willing to go get it? Are you willing to speak it? Lord says, I give you permission to feast. My God. Ephesians 1.17. I'm going to get through these so we can praise so. God. Again, the things that God has prepared in you so that you can receive, so that you can receive. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians 1.17, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. There are things on your list and there are things that God is, put, is beckoning you to write on your list. Things that God wants you to have, right? That he said, you gotta grow into me. I'm gonna give you the wisdom to grow into me. I'm gonna give you the insight to grow into those things. Is this making sense for anybody? Is this making sense for anybody? That this is not just a, you know, today just wasn't about just, let me just go ahead and have a turnaround and yell and shout and scream. But when I gave you a list, I'm going to give you instruction to get it. See, the thing about God is he's already done his part. And today the Lord was like, meet me in the middle. He's already done his part. Everybody who has ever obtained the territory of the Lord, he has given them instruction. He has given them guidance. He has given them things, unique things for them to do. Gideon had too many people with him. He made them cut down to a tent. He made them get pots and he made them circle and surround his enemy. The, 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 the children of Israel, Joshua, in the wall of Jericho, he made them walk around in silence. And then on the seventh day, they had to scream. On the seventh day, they had to lift up the trumpet. They have to lift up a sound. Today, God wants a sound to come, but he's given a strategy as to how we're going to get everything that he wants us to have. And then he's backing it up. 
He ain't just sending me here with a word of prophecy that's going to get you and confirm with some stuff that God already sent that's going to get you emotional. God is like, no, I need them to know I am with thee. I'm with you. If you don't praise him for nothing else, praise God because he's with you. Who, Jesus? If he's with you, you got everything. If he's with you, your potential is limitless. The Holy Ghost in you, your potential is limitless. God can do anything. As a matter of fact, the scripture that he gave us, Ephesians 3 and 20, the last one, exceedingly and abundant. So how are you and why are you trying to walk out things in your own strength, in your own ways, limiting your potential? I don't want peachy potential. I want my potential partner with heaven, with God that's walking with me. I want my daddy to back me up. I want my daddy to go before me. I want the anointing, the oil that he put on my head to show up before me. That's what's going to get us what's on this list. I praise it's just going to complete it. I feel like today, y'all, we in that army of Gideon. I feel like today, y'all, we walking with Joshua around walls of Jericho. I feel like we are the ones that sat in the ambush with our praise. I feel like that, y'all. I feel like I'm right in it with them. We don't need a lot. It's five of us. God says, all you got is all you need. Eighteen, I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so you can understand the confident hope he has given you. Nineteen, understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe this is the same mighty power. I'm going to go ahead and read the full chapter so we can finish that. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in heavenly. Ain't we been talking about our seat? He been preparing us for today. I ain't even read that part. He, it, the same power. Y'all, I ain't finna deal with Jesus today. He ain't finna make me take my wig off today. Cause I sure feel like, I sure feel like I got to take it off. This right here, Jesus. Revelations 20, Revelations 3 and 20. God. Anybody excited today? Y'all, I'm fired up today if you can't tell. I know y'all, they gonna get pretty praise peach today. Although y'all ain't y'all ain't y'all ain't get that today because it's some stuff I got I know I want God to do. And you ain't gonna just put me, you ain't gonna just tell me to write a list and then okay, God. Never I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Amen and period. <laughs> I'm just driving, so I can't be in the chat. Girl, come on. Come on, ma'am. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm testimony in itself. You hear me? I said I'm driving. Jesus, look. Yeah, I'm driving. You better praise him. Look, the praise is on the inside. I got to make sure I get to my destination. So, you know, I can't go too far, but I got a sniffle coming because it's a thank you, Lord, in my belly. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. I'm recording this one. We getting this one because because you're going to have to go back because we're going to be obedient. We're going to do what we got to do. Everybody getting this one. And I said, okay, we recorded. it. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Some of y'all on y'all way to work. You're gonna come back to this. You're gonna write when he tell you to write, do what you gotta do. Revelation 3:20 says, Look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. This is meet me in the middle. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This is why the Lord said this morning to me when I got in the shower. Y'all know he's talking to shop. He said, Meet me in the middle. That means he's been knocking. We didn't open the door to him. We didn't did our part. First, you got to hear my voice. I'm going to do something. God says, look, I'm going to take action. 
Look, look, I prepared a way. Look, I've been calling you. I've been tugging on you. Look, I took, I took the step. Something I did in the background and you couldn't see, but now I'm making you see, I'm making you aware. I'm at the door. If you hear my voice, if you hear my voice and open the door, not if you hear the sound of me knocking, not if you see I'm doing something, do you hear me? Do you hear God? Do you hear the sound of abundant rain coming to you? Do you hear something? Shut up. He cut out, see, does he speak to you? Does he talk to you? He said, you've been hearing me and now open the door. Open the door. I want to suck with you, daughter. I want to break bread with you, daughter. I want to build that relationship, daughter. Every time you hear me, open the door. Every time you hear my voice, ask God, what's, what's next, God? What I got to do? Where I got to go? Come on in, Jesus. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. Well, go ahead and put eat, eat, eat in the chat. I know you're driving, Tia. Just say it out loud. Eat, eat, eat. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. Because it ain't no meal like a meal with the Lord. Woo! It ain't no meal like a meal with the Lord. <laughs> Come on. Because we know what he's able to do with a little. The Bible says that he took five, five loaves and two fish and kept multiplying it and kept multiplying it. You've been eating one meal at a time. God says, I'm going to keep multiplying. Every time you finish, when you think you're done, I'm going to keep multiplying. As long as you hear me, as long as you open up to me, as long as you receive me, eat, 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 eat. Feast. Who shed out about see? I heard the Lord say, you deserve it. Y'all got to receive that the Father, the God from glory says, you deserve it. All along, we've been, Lord, you deserve my praise. You deserve my worship. And guess what you've been doing? You've been giving it to him. You've been posturing yourself. You've been getting up. You sacrificed. I remember a time Kate came to me like, oh, it's 30, God. She don't sound like that. But you sacrificed. But you met me. And because it's life in your sacrifice, Multiplication, multiplication. Come on, come on. Eat, 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 eat. And because of that, the Bible says the last scripture he gave me last night, Ephesians 3 and 20. This is not one unfamiliar, but my God, now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us. Here we go again with the power of God within us to accomplish infinitely more, in, infinitely more than we can ask or think. Here is the one, y'all know, we finna go all school now, all the other versions, but let's go ahead and see what, what, what King James say, because this is it. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly, above all we can ask or think according to the power that works in us, according to the power. How many times are you going to sit with him? How many times are you going to sup with him? How many times are you going to eat with him? How many times are you going to believe him? How many times are you going to allow him to just give you secrets that you knew not? How many times are you going to allow him to activate Jeremiah 33 and 3? Psalms 23 and 5, Ephesians 17 through 19, Revelations 3 and 20. How many times are you going to allow him to activate that word in your life? Because every time there's power coming. So on today, God wants us to praise him. And I want you right now to take time to think about 
where you used to be, where you used to be, make a list of where you used to be, where you came from. God, I remember, I remember 1429, you God. I remember that small house, God. I remember us being cramped in that house, God. I remember that kitchen, God, that was just a strip, but I remember the love. I remember how you met me there, God. I remember us not having any furniture, God. I remember us wishing, God. I remember the time, God. I praise you for that house. I praise you. I remember the days, God, when we were standing food truck lines, God. I remember when I would just be so embarrassed, I would act like I was working the food truck line, God. And I didn't want people to know that we were getting it, God, but you always sustained even then. I remember and I praise you for being that, God. Who are you praising him for being in your life? God says, remember the things of the old. Praise me for the past. God, I remember. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord, that we weren't qualified to get the next house, God. That the house that you said was for us, God, you hid it for me, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we had one income. We made $59,000. God, the math went in math. We were able to get a house, Lord, for over $165,000. Lord, the math wasn't math. But they were requesting $200,000 for the house, God. I thank you, Lord. And I'm praising you, Lord, for that, God, because now, God, I know what we're asking you to do, Jesus. And in comparison to what you did in the past, God, Start speaking out loud what God has done for you. Start praising him right now. Get a praise right now. What did he do for you? Praise and speak it out loud. You got to sometimes remind the atmosphere what you survived, what you survived, because God is bringing us into a place of thrive. Praise God for what you came out of. Praise God for what you came out of. He shot down my sickle of she have a seat. Oh, God. Haya shadaba sickle shada seat. I had a foco. God, you're amazing. God, you're amazing. God is saying, God, you have sort of shadaya. Keep on. You got, you might have to keep on writing. It, it, it's going to go beyond the prayer call. You might have to keep on making a list of the stuff that he brought you from. You praise him for that. Ooh, I praise you, Lord. When the enemy tried to tell me it was cancer in my left breast. God, when my body tried to make me agree with the lump that I felt, God. I believed you and your power over what my body was saying. He shanda my sekoro I didn't let my body testify against your promises, God. You healed me, Lord. You healed me, Lord. I believed you and you healed my body, Jesus. I praise you, Lord. I remember. I remember Jesus. I thank you. And I thank you, Jesus. And I thank you, Jesus. And I praise you, Lord. I praise you for being a deliverer. I praise you for being a healer for me, God. God, I remember, Lord, after the third miscarriage, God. I wanted to lose my mind, Jesus. I cried out to you, Jesus. I cried out to you, Jesus. Oh, you lifted me up. I praise you for being a mind regulator, Jesus. Oh, I praise you for being a mind regulator, Jesus. 
I praise you that when I wanted to throw in the towel, Jesus, your miraculous healing power came in, God. Hallelujah, God. You made me a testimony. That there's nothing too hard for you. That there's no depression that we can't defeat, God. That there's no mind, no mental illness that we can't stop a block of the power of God. Won't snatch you out of God. I thank you for that, Jesus. I praise you for being that God. Oh, yes, Shanda Masi. Oh, God. Oh, that is your shade out of the Rokuria, Shida, that is your Korea, my Shandia, that is here. Oh, your Shande Masedia, the Sande Koroshia, the Abasa, Ida. Says, I'm healing past trauma. I'm healing past hurt. Today your praise is going to help you let it go. Today your praise is going to help you forgive. Today your praise is going to add an extra layer of life to you. God says, and I'm going to praise in me, going to praise in me, for right now, going to praise me for the things that I'm doing right now. Who in this season? What have I done in this season? He shed it at it so the good ya Sunday that I shot it also. Who shunned my city that I shire? Praise me for the new car I gave you. Praise me for the new house I gave you. Praise me for the new job I gave you. Praise me for the ways I got just made today, the ways I made yesterday. Praise me for this season. For the people that I put in your life in this season. For the understanding I unlocked in this season. For the praise and the passion that I've given you in this season. For the revelation I've given in this season. For the word I've given in this season. For the people I've shared in this season. What have I done for you in this season? Uh, if you're writing, you might even want to just title this list, this season, <laughs> this season praise, this season list. Who I'm writing down, y'all. Oh, God. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Have you felt unusual favor in this season? Yasha. If you felt the urgency in this season, God says, praise me for the urgency that I put in your belly because in former seasons, you would have procrastinated. In former seasons, you would have put me down. In former seasons, you would have left me. Darisa shared a word about how God is calling and some of us have put him on hold. Praise me for you getting the revelation that you had me on hold. Praise me for you getting the revelation, like like Tiasia just said, that you were resenting the abundance of rain, that you weren't even trying to hear that abundance was coming to you. Praise me for the revelation. Praise me for showing you who you really are and you being okay with it in this season. Praise me that I didn't put a runaway spirit in you in this season, but you was able to stand flat footed and look yourself in the face and say, this is what I need to work on, God. Here it is, God. Here am I, Lord. Use me anyway. Use me broken. Use me battered. Use me bruised. Use me not all the way 100% there. Use me while I was halfway in. But thank you for using me in this season, Jesus. I praise you for it. Flaws and all. Hi, I had a quarter of Shadi Abasi. I praise you, Lord, for this prayer call. I praise you, Lord, for these women. I praise you, Lord. Hi, I saw the Cori outside. I had a little she had a massy. Whoo, Lord, I needed this and I didn't even know I needed it, Lord. He has Shanda Koro Sanda in our shea. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord, for using this as the bait to take us higher, God. Ooh. Uh, for those of you that can, put one thing in the chat that you are praising God for this season. I said, there are some things that you're praising for that some people might have forgot. Oh, I did that for them too. Your praise, something you're praising God for, he shot is going to help somebody else's praise. Who shot my?
Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Woo. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now we're going to go into praising God. Now we're going to go into praising God. Who shed out of this side by ya? Oh, now we're going to praise God. Yeah, she did it. she did it. Da, 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 what he has it. What, what we haven't seen manifested, but it's done, y'all. Yeah, What's on your list is done, y'all. What's on your list is done. Now we're going to praise him, God. God says, praise me. Yeah, Praise me like you will on the day you hold it. On the day you hold it, on the day you write the contract, on the day you, you're stepping in the house, on the day you're standing at the altar, on the day that you're wearing the gown, on the day ooh, that you're in the building, that you're on the stage, that you receive the check, that you receive the check. That you get to hear, well done, our good and faithful servant. You, hallelujah, have been faithful over a few things. I will now make you ruler over many. Who you need to praise God. Like everything you wrote is here already. Because if you can get it in your praise, God says, I'll put it in your presence. If you can get it in your praise, I'll put it in your presence. I'll put it in your face. This is a prophetic praise on this morning. This is a praise that's unlocking the house paid in cash. This is a praise unlocking the pipeline full. This is a praise unlocking not just the lender who this is the praise that makes you the lender. Jesus. God says you've been through too much, daughter. You love me too much not for me to want to give you every desire in your heart. You survived too much with me. Stop living beneath your privileges. It's not too much for me. Don't insult me. Think bigger. Go greater. Ask for more. I am the God of exceeding and abundant. You waited long enough. You waited long enough. Enter in. 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 You've been through too much not to pray. You've been through too much not to pray. Who shed it? Who 
Oh, I was about to say, Lord, we went over. He has said it about us. He said, What's more important? Overflow for me. Oh, don't worry about the time when you're with the Lord. I give it back, God says. I give it back, God says. Just, just go into the overflow with me. Just sit with me. Just sit with me. Living my worship. I am with you, daughter. Go forth, daughter. And I just see us. I just saw a vision of us. I just saw a vision of us. At a finish line. Isha, it's a finish line. He had shot. And God got us running from the finish line. He had said it all, she You running from the finished work of God. Our starting point is God's finishing point. There's nothing that you wrote that God didn't finish already. I saw a vision of us standing at the finish line and Jesus said, go. He said, go because it's already finished. Just run. Just go. We're starting from a finished from a finished work. Everything that's in your heart, write it down, please, please. And don't finish until God finishes with you. So when you get, and even those that's watching, go watch the replay. When you get, when you get your moment, Go full throttle. Go full throttle. God says, some stuff I'm going to give you in the kitchen. Yes, some stuff I'm going to give you in the car. He shamed it up. Some stuff you ain't going to have a pen and a paper, but you won't have a smartphone. He said, just record it. Just say it until you can get there to write it. Everything that I give you in this season, God says, write it. Write it. Write it so it can become a law. I'm a sovereign God. I respect the law. There's a law that says, write the vision, make it plain. Though it tarry, it shall surely come to pass. I need you to write it. I don't need you to type it in this season. Yeah, you can voice record it, but when you get somewhere, write it down. When I give you the book, write it. Don't wait for the program to start. Don't wait for, write it. Thank you, Lord. We got permission to leave. I got permission to go. If anybody has anything, he cut my shot. You can unmute. Ha, he cut my shot. You have anything that you want to share? You can drop it in this chat. You can drop it in the group chat. My God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I praise. I praise in advance. Everything you put on that list. God is preparing in you what you need to be prepared to receive it. Though it tarry, it shall surely come to pass. It don't matter how big it is. It don't matter how strange it sounds. 
It don't matter how it don't even look like nothing that you're going through right now. It don't matter how much sense it don't make. If it's written down, we are activating the potential and the power and the Ephesians and 320s of God. It's surely coming. It's surely coming. God will do some things that don't make sense behind the scenes. We are starting from a finished place. If it's written, it's finished. If you receive this word on today, y'all just say, I receive it. I receive it on today. He is doing a thing in us, y'all. Do you think you know you? You have no idea. He should have. You think you know who you are? You have no idea. You think you've been told who you are? You think you have no idea? God is doing a thing. He's going higher. It might be harder. It might look different. But God is doing a thing where he's revealing you. And he's getting ready to reveal you to the yous that need you. There are people that share your same attributes, but they don't have your position. They don't have your heart. They don't have your love for the Father, but they have the anointing. They're yours. They're your tribe. They're your nations. They're connected to you. They respond to your voice. They'll hear your message. God is preparing you to lead them. You're going to lead a bunch of yous out of circumstances that you only used to survive in. God has placed you in position to thrive, to prosper. Operate in his laws so that you can share your testimony through the gospel. It's going to impact them. Wigged and slid four, five inches back. I don't care. I got to ask the Lord for the, the uh, not wig slide and anointing. <laughs> Y'all, I'm in a good place today. I'm excited today. I'm happy with the Lord today. Y'all continue to praise God all throughout the day. Get your praise music on. Have a praise party in your house, at your job. Praise. Don't let the enemy rob you of this moment. We bind him. We block it. We block all distractions. When they happen, we're going to see it for what it is. And we're going to praise God anyway. When the delays come in the traffic and all of that, we're going to see it for what it is. Oh, you're trying to steal my joy. Oh, you're trying to steal my praise. You won't have it today, devil. I don't care who it come through. You won't get it today. Make that declaration over yourself, y'all. God bless y'all. I love you so much. Ooh, in Jesus' name. I will have this recording as soon as I can and I will drop it in the chat. He met us today, amen, amen. I bless you, I see you guys on tomorrow. Day, what is this, day 16? Five more days, five more days. God bless you.